We are joined by Lee Haskins on IFL TV. Lee, you just stopped Luke Wilton. Probably one of your best performances. Yeah, maybe. You know, he's never been stopped before, so it was um, a good stoppage. I like stopping someone that's never been stopped before. Um, yeah, I just think it was a great performance by myself, you know, so I'm just looking forward to um, the next one now. It, like it probably wasn't every shot that landed, but it seemed like every shot you wanted to land landed. Yeah, um, you know, I think every everything that I needed to land landed. You know, obviously when I seen him going, I maybe rushed a little bit. You know, got a bit overwhelmed. But um, apart from that, you know, I caught him with every every decent shot that I wanted to catch him with. I hurt him in every round. I well, was only two rounds. Out and, yeah, and I smashed him. You know, I could feel it vibrating from my arms where I was hitting so hard. But, um, yeah, just everything went to plan tonight. Credit to Luke for taking the fight, but he was actually, you know, it wasn't like he was sitting on the sofa. He was in training for the fight in two weeks' time. That's right. Yeah, he was down to the weight already as well, where he trains hard. And um, I know, I know Luke Wilton. He trains hard, and he's um a very fit guy. You know, he's very determined. And um, in the in the ring, in the, in in the weigh-in, obviously, he was saying how confident it was. They really wanted it to be a British start because they really thought they were going to come and give an upset. You know, um, but more for him, obviously. I tell you, I'm, I'm one of the hardest punchers. In the bantamweight division in the world, I I, I would I would class myself I, I I believe and um you know tonight just showed how hard I you know he, he's never been stopped I stopped him too. Do you think like lately you know you've always won you've always kept, had good winning streaks but lately it's a manner of manner of your victories yeah, as well. Yeah, the manner I'm doing it is um you know I'm looking good doing it. The thing is, this like you know them them having this world title and that is making me you know it's making me know that I can train that much harder. If I train, I'll be able to clear up this, this, this world-class division, you know? And, I, and I've noticed that. That's why I'm putting in so much training. I'm training hard. Like, now, I'll have a week off. I'll be back in the gym without no dates for a fight, you know? I'm just training now. I'm just training. And it's just showing in the dream. I'm just turning up and, you know, the fight's a breeze. This was supposed to be for the WBC international title. Is that something you're going to go back and try and rearrange? Um... Yeah, obviously, yeah. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on. I, I don't really get involved in my opponents. I, I, I'll fight anybody. It don't really bother me, you know. And obviously, I do want the world title shot. That's what I'm, I really do want. But um, obviously, I let Chris work it all out. He works out. We've, we've had them other opponents. They just keep pulling out because obviously visa and then head scan. And I just said, listen, I don't care. You get Chris. Just get me someone. You know, I got. I'm fighting my hometown. I've sold a lot of tickets. You know, and people want to watch the box. Get anybody, anybody. Great else. reception tonight as well, yeah, wasn't really it? Great reception, and you know, I appreciate, I appreciate it so much. You know, I live for my fans, and um, you know, I, I, you know, I just, in, I enjoy fighting in Bristol. It's the biggest thing for me. Like, I, I feel the electric, and you know, when I let my hands go, I feel like. Do you know, like in the media, we love to, for you to say, "Oh, I'm going to call this guy out. I'm going to call that guy out." But you, it's got like your performances now. They're the message, really, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm trying to do. Is just trying to impress, and you know, just trying to. To try and get them shots, you know that I'm, I'm I deserve. You know I, I know I've I've lost, I've I've lost three fights in my career, but you know I lost them. I lost. I beat myself in all three of the fights. You know if you watch every fight back, you will see that I'm winning the fights, and then I fade. I mess up just because of my training and, and a few other problems that I used to have. But you know it's all sorted out, and now I'm just flying. You know you won't put me in there with anybody. Put me in there with anybody. Don't bother me. Do you know, with Stuart Hall fighting Martin Ward, what do you think the chances of you getting a shot at that down the line? I won't get a, I won't get a shot. Um, Stuart Hall is not um, stupid enough to take the chance. Let's just say he's, um, you know, he wants to get whatever wins he can get. I suppose you don't want to box me. You know, be a crazy thing to do. I beat him before and I beat him easy. You know, this time I beat me easy. And easy. I reckon I was stopped after his last performance. I seen him, but that other guy, you know, it was he was he was hurt in time. He was fading. He was gone in in, in a couple of the last rounds. You know, a lot of the time it's like fighters would fight anyone, but it's the management to, no, who, but, but do, you seem to think it's the case of Stuart Hall actually wouldn't fight you. I think it's the management and uh, um, and Stuart Hall, you know, I, I think it's a lot of it, Stuart Hall, if, if he would tell his manager, yeah, get make, make the fight, they would make it, you know, but obviously he's like, yeah, yeah, if you're not going to make the fight, that's fine with me, I don't want to fight anyway, but... You know, all, like, all we can do is just keep hoping that we're going to get a shot. Which I don't blame them. You know, obviously they want to earn, they want to earn money in the sport, and I suppose this this business is a this boxing is a business, so they want to earn money. So that's why they don't want to box me because they know they're going to get the belt took. But um, apart from that, you know, I just think you know this is the boxing game. We shouldn't duck people. I think people that that's do their shot should get a shot. And, and like you know, like, people might think, oh, I'm being selfish, but I'm not even thinking about myself. Like even they should even give this the title shot back to Jamie if they want you know he should be entitled to his shot I think he lost the belt unfairly and I think he even he should be given a shot if, if Stuart Hall said I'm fighting Jamie McDonald 
then I'd sit back and be all right, fine. I'd try to go for the winner then. I, I heard um, yeah. earlier from someone I know in York, so Jamie McDonald fighting for the WBA regular title. That might be on the cards. What do you think yeah, of that? I've heard that, you know. Um, yeah, fair play to Jamie McDonald. The thing is, I've beat Jamie McDonald, and it wouldn't worry me if I had to fight him any day of the week. You know, I think I'd beat him again. But You've both won, come a long way since yeah, then as well. When he was world champion, when he won the top, I think he worked very hard to get there. You know, he done it. He done himself very proud. He won, he won all the belts. He come back strong, and he won himself a world title. And he was due it. Stuart Hall went due no world title shot. You know, he, should, he was barely due a British title shot. So, you know, what's it all about? Do you think like you've been a victim of your style in the past, but now you seem to have corrected that? But you know, and you're producing knockouts. Yeah, I've, worked, I've, I'm, I've, worked, I've been working on everything. I've been working on my, I've been working on my accuracy, my power, my speed. Just everything, you know, my concentration. That's why you used to let me yeah. down before my, my, my concentration. Never concentrating in training sometimes and in the ring, but now I'm just focused. You know what I mean? People might look at me and think, you know, we'll talk, listen, believe me, I'm focused and I'm ready to box anybody out there. Believe me. All right, well, we appreciate your time on AFL TV. Congrats tonight, and, you know, we'll be there next time as well. Thank you very much.